Peace and blessings everyone. Welcome back to the Humble Servant Homestead. Guys, today we are out here getting ready to harvest these purple hole peas here. Now, I've shown you all little small clips coming up. Y'all seeing how these beans were doing. And so now we are here at this time getting ready to harvest the first crop of the purple hole peas. Now, and like I said, first crop, um, this right here will be the second crop right here, guys. Um, as y'all can see, we still have quite a bit of green pea here uh, still uh, developing. Now, one of the thing is you don't want to harvest this peas here just as yet. If you were to harvest them, it will be very hard for you to get them out of the pod. Okay, so don't harvest your purple hole peas when they are green like this. Now, I'm going to let y'all know when it is time for you to go ahead and harvest your purple hole peas. Now, what you will be looking for, um, your pea will turn purple. And typically in the field, what you would want to look for is a 50-50 uh, um, percent of your peas being ready. Now, if you turn it on the back here, you will see you still have some uh, coloring. Uh, this one is a bit more lighter, but sometimes you will find them where you have a bit more green on the back and purple here on top. That's what you're looking for when I say a 50-50% uh, purple, 50% green, and that right there will let you know that your bean is ready to be harvested. All right, and so um, we're just going to be going through here in just a moment, harvesting all these beans. Now, one of the thing here, guys, they just starting to start turning brown and ripening on us. And so right now we don't need any of these beans ripening. We want to get them fresh, okay? Because we do love fresh purple whole peas. You cannot beat some fresh purple whole peas with a little turkey neck inside. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start harvesting. And so just to let you know that, hey, this right here is not all of it, okay? Now up there on the top garden, guys, we have probably about six or seven rows of purple whole peas that we have to harvest as well, but they're not ready. They're nowhere ready like these here. And I guess when it's time, we'll also take you guys on up there just to let y'all see what is going on here on the homestead. All right, and so, um, so far, um, everything is looking real good. And yes, we will have our work cut out for us here on the homestead. And so what I'm going to go ahead and do, um, I am kind of happy that it's just these two rows that we have. Last year, um, we had this whole garden lined with purple hole peas. You can go back and check that video out. <clears throat> but we had purple hole peas and we was down here as a family, we was just going and we harvest a, a pretty good size amount of purple hole peas. And that was, uh, I was happy about that because you think about going into fall, that's one of the things you want to do. You want to go ahead and start having food preservation because in the fall time, you won't be able to plant any purple hole peas at all. So that is why I like to plant them uh, right around that time when fall is close to being approached. Um, what's that? It's August, right? Mm -hmm. So August is when I usually like to come on out and put some beans in the ground so we can well, have... Well, actually that was July. Was it July? Yes, because it's August now. Yes, okay, so July. So we came on out in July and planted these beans here just so we can have a fall harvest. And so that is what's going on right now. And so let me go ahead, get these beans, uh, purple hole peas here harvested, and I will be right back. Stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. And another thing, do you think this will be overflowing with beans? I think so. You think so? Yeah. All right, let's get to picking and see what happens. Okay. Okay, and so that is it right there. 
Hey, we got a full bucket of purple whole peas out of these two rolls right here. Now, to me, that is pretty good. Okay, now remember this right here is just the first harvest, all right? The first harvest because guess what? We still have these green ones right here and probably right in about maybe about a week or so they will be ready to harvest as well now before I harvest all these beans here guys one of the things that you want to remember is seed saving okay don't pick all of your beans green and then you don't have any to save for seeds so remember you want to leave some of them here on the plant to dry out so that way you can save some seeds now I like to dry whenever I'm saving seeds from peas or beans or whatever I like to let my beans go ahead and dry out on the plant that way I know that this bean is at its fullest and it will be ready uh, for next year all right so don't forget to save yourself some seeds all right and as y'all can look down this row, uh, there's plenty of green uh, purple whole peas still going down that row. And even we also missed some that we wanted to harvest uh, for, um, you know, not all the way dry. And so even uh, that there, let's get into it uh, because these beans right here, the reason why I love the purple whole peas, simple reason why guys, you can pick them at this stage right here while the peas are still green and look at that those are some beautiful beautiful peas and and as y'all can see how nice and fat those peas are simple reason why because they have not dried out just as yet and guys these here are very delicious now I just want to go ahead and show you all the difference between the green purple whole peas and the dry purple whole peas all right and show you the difference and so like I said the reason why I like them because you can save them at different stages you can pick them green shell them out and put them in the freezer and the dry ones you can simply go ahead and leave those ones there to put up for storage all right and just to give you all a comparison that is what we are looking at there now that is beautiful guys mm -hmm. beautiful and I think the uh, these ones here some turkey neck is awaiting those oh yeah right all right so uh, nonetheless uh, that is it right there I just want to say thanks to each and every one of you all out there for coming along with us harvesting purple hole peas once more now this is going to be part one okay like I said we still have quite a bit up there at the top garden that we have to harvest I think I might take you guys along with us as well on that harvesting and I just want to say thanks to each and every one of you all out there for stopping by the humble servants homestead and as always Peace and blessings to each and every one of you all out there. Now, if you like the content you all got here today, go ahead, throw that thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe, and have a blessed day.